Hello again. I was watching uh, Mad Max Fury Road the other night and this chap's in it, uh, Immortan Joe. And he's got this really fantastically um, designed, cool uh, face mask. And I was thinking, uh, I wonder if I could make that. And then I, the more I looked at it, the more I realised uh, there was a bit more to it. That's quite some um, item to try and make. So I thought, there's this chap, Nux. He's one of the war boys, one of the the baddies. But in the end, he, he turns around and realises that Immortan Joe doesn't really have a future for him. And um, he dies saving uh, the brides. Uh, you think at one stage he's going to get a bit of a better life, but he doesn't. So I was thinking it would be interesting to try and make uh, a face mask which shows uh, his face here. He has these really badly scarred, he's been in the sun too much, lips and really dodgy teeth. And uh, Joe has just sprayed him with chrome to make him shiny. Um, so. It would be interesting to see if I could replicate that. I have a piece of aluminium left and I was going to have a go at that. So uh, I don't know how it'll turn out, if it'll turn out at all. So um, let's see where we go. Um, I've held this piece of foam up to my face, um, drew it around, it's just the rough shape. Um, so I'm going to have a start. This is where I'm up to now. I've started to get the rough shape. Uh, I need to do all the scars on his on his lips. I need to bring his bottom teeth out. They've kind of sunk in there, but I'm I'm pleased with the overall shape and the um, just general nastiness of his top teeth. I then have to work out some um, shaping up here and maybe down on the bottom. So we'll carry on. Well, I've continued hammering, and I've hammered it um, mainly around things to get the shape. Here's nooks down here. Um, I'm not sure if I've quite got his look of. Um, not sure what it is. It's supposed to be excitement, relief, maybe. Um, but I think what I need to do is I need to do some painting. Um, it's quite difficult when you hammer things to actually get things to curve and I need the black in here in the back of his mouth to be really far in the distance and I can't do that because otherwise I'll just pop the metal out. So um, I think I'm going to rely on some painting. I was going to kind of try and dry brush so that I used the actual metal colour but I keep shining it and then it just keeps going dull. So I think what I'll have to do is um, paint it all and then get some chrome car paint and try and paint it carefully so that I don't mess it up. But I like the shape. Um, I've never tried to make a face shape before. Um, I think the mouth is very flat. I think if I'd cut it out I'd be able to bend it more but um, as I'm not cutting it out it's very hard to to bend it without bursting something and if I burst it then uh, I'll be more upset. 
So what I'll do is um, I'll actually stop here and clean it with nail varnish remover acetone and then uh, put some paint on. So that's our next step. I got some uh, Warhammer paints and I've painted it up. Uh, my son says it looks creepy. It does a little bit. Um, and I got this chrome effect paint. So I'm going to have a go at spraying across the front. What I might do is uh, use some masking tape to cover the black because that wouldn't have got chromed. Um, the back of your mouth wouldn't get chromed. So I'm going to then try that and see. It does look a bit weird. So I will have a go with that now. I've used this. Um, it wasn't a very uh, directable spray and what I did was I held this over the front to try and limit the amount of uh, silver paint I got out. Um, I could probably put some more on. Uh, the danger being uh, if I put more on I could end up making a right mess. So I think I'm going to stop there. Um, I think it's not too bad. Um, but uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some way of fixing this on your face and then see what it looks like. This is certainly freakish. <laughs> 